Johnson and Erin Nielsen work with the First Nations Health Authority in the Northern Region. Hi, I'm Corey Johnson and I'm an environmental health technician. I work for the Northern Region. Hi, and I'm Erin Nielsen. I'm an environmental health officer. I'm based in Prince George and both Corey and I work with the Environmental Public Health Services for First Nations Health Authority. And today we're going to show you how to sample for disinfection byproducts. These are substances that can form when a disinfectant, such as chlorine, reacts with decaying organic matter, like leaves or vegetation. We sample for these byproducts because they have the potential to cause harmful health effects. You'll need five vials per sampling site, two for trihalomethanes, also called THMs, or three for haloacetic acids, HAAs. Please don't empty or rinse out any of these vials before sampling as they contain important preservatives. The vial with the pill in it is for THMs. The vial with the liquid in it is for HAAs. The liquid is an acid, so take safety precautions and wear gloves. Here are the sampling supplies you will need. A chlorine testing kit, a chain of custody form, gloves, bubble wrap, a cooler, a frozen ice pack, extra packing material, packing tape, and a weigh bill. You will also need a fine-tipped, waterproofed marker or pen. Ballpoint pens don't work well on the labels. All five samples should be taken from the same sample site. Consult with your EHO to determine the best location to sample from in your community. This is how to sample. Check the tap and remove the aerator. Be sure the O-ring didn't get stuck inside the faucet. The O-ring needs to come out too. Turn the cold water tap on full and let it run for five minutes. This will help to ensure to get a representative sample. While the tap is running, fill out the labels on the vials using a waterproof marker. The labels are easier to write on when they're dry. Add the name or address of the specific location you are sampling from, for instance, Van Office Kitchen Sink, the Sample Point Locator, or SPL, and the date and the time. Please remember that all five samples should be taken from the same sample site. This is what a completed label looks like. Now that five minutes have passed, slow the flow of the water down to a trickle. This will take more time to fill the vial, but it will be less likely to spill or splash out the preservative. Make sure the water is cold before sampling. Put on gloves to protect yourself from acid splashes. This is the tricky part. Fill up the vial slowly until it makes a dome shape at the top, above the rim of the vial. Be careful not to spill any preservative while sampling. Wet the lid and screw it on the vial. This is what the water dome I was referring to looks like. Have a look again at how this is done. Dome shape water at the top of the vial. Wet the lid and screw on the top. Tighten the lid firmly, but not too tight because the caps can break very easily. This is an example of a perfect sample. There are no air bubbles inside the vial. To check if your sample has been filled properly, turn the vial upside down and look for bubbles. If your sample ends up with a bubble in it, don't worry. We'll show you how to fix it. The sample on the left is what we are looking for. The one on the right with the bubble will need to be fixed. This is how you resample if you've ended up with a bubble in your vial. Don't pour out the old sample, just top it up. Create a dome shape, wet the lid and reseal. Again, be careful not to spill. Once you've filled all five vials, sample free in total chlorine residual. Record on the chain of custody form these residuals. The vials are now ready to be packed for shipping. Take the two THMs and pack them into one bag. Peel the adhesive strip off and close it. Press to seal the edges. Do the same for the three HAA vials. These are ready to go into the cooler and off to the lab. 
please pack them up and send them as soon as possible. Begin packing the cooler by putting in an ice pack. Next, wrap the two bags with the vials and add them to the cooler. Use extra paper to pad the items so they don't move around during transportation. The ideal temperature inside the cooler is 4 degrees Celsius. In the summer, we usually use one or two ice packs because of the hot weather. But in the winter, one ice pack is enough, as we do not want the samples to freeze. Tape the cooler shut so it won't come open during shipping. Fill out the weigh bill and tape that to the cooler too. This weigh bill is from Purolator, but your community may use another courier. Be sure to fill out all pertinent areas for the courier your community uses. Give your courier a call to arrange for pickup. The lab needs to receive the samples within 14 days of you taking them, but it is recommended that you ship them as soon as possible. Your community water samples are now off to the lab for testing for disinfectant byproducts. Remember that if you have any questions about this process, always feel free to call your community environmental health officer or environmental health technician. We are here to support you and to help however we can. Happy, Happy sampling! sampling.